Not all men. One of the most annoying phrases someone can say. Not because guys say it, but because people complain about guys saying This video is gonna be a bit more controversial. If you are watching this video and you're getting ready to type some Oh, you can't be saying that online kind of bullshit. Watch the whole fucking video before you say shit. And if you've got a problem with it, Dislike the video, I couldn't care less. I'm putting my fucking opinion out there. So, I was watching a YouTuber that I usually watch, that I've only recently found, but I really quite like her videos, and I've seen a couple of videos like this before, and just the shit she said, and I still like her, like, content, but this one video just got me so pissed off two nights ago. I was gonna make it yesterday, but I didn't end up getting the time. Um, got me so pissed off at the fact, because I, I did one of these videos before. I'd already tried to make one of these videos not too long ago, itself. It was very unstructured, didn't have very good points, didn't really make it sound very good, so I just deleted it. Not all men are some is something that usually men say when girls are talking about stuff that men do. So for example, if a girl is having troubles with her boyfriend and they're having an argument about something stupid or you know he's gone out to town without telling her or you know he's hanging out with her friends and ditched her and she's talking to her friend and her friend is a guy, and she's complaining about it, complaining about it, complaining about it, and because of the fact she's saying so much about guys, she's not, she's not saying that it's only about the one guy, she's saying about guys. So the guy feels the need to say, oh, that so sucks, I, I can't believe that happened to you, and it really sucks that he did that. He, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any bad like reasoning behind it, but not all men do that. Girls hate it when guys say not all men do that. I don't know why, I do know why, but I can't physically understand your frustration with not all men do that. It's like you're in... I'm getting frustrated just thinking about this. Okay, there are so many double standards when it comes to men and women. Now, I'm going to be referring to men and women, not all the different kind of flip-flop genders that people have been making. I don't care if you're any of those genders, I'm only referring to men and women and humans in those two categories. People who are born men, people who are born women. I'm not saying about people who identify as one or the other and they were born the other. I'm purely saying men, women. I'm not going to try and use proper words because it's going to frustrate me. <sighs> so feminism is about equality, not just equality for women in general, a lot of people have now started to aim it at that purely for women to have equal to more rights than men. And in saying that is good. Have women having equal rights to men is fine. But it's the fact that you've got to understand that men have certain privileges that women just can't have. And women have certain privileges that men just can't have. Those are fine. They can stay each other's because they're physically gender specific. Right? Now, I'm talking about gender stereotyped privileges as well as inequality. But before I get to that, I will continue with my not all men thing. Men would usually say, not all men do this purely because of the fact that women are at the point in time, women or men, women or men, but generally it's women down, like talking bad about men that when this happens. They're saying something about men and they're not, they're not using generalizing words. They're not generalized it to men, but they're not specifically saying that it's not all men. They're saying it as if they're generalizing without actually generalizing or saying, oh, all men are like this. They're, saying, they're talking about it as if it's been generalized. That is when most of the time, guys will feel like they have been attacked as if it's guys' fault, as the person who's listening's fault that they'll say, not all men are like that. They're gonna say that because it feels like you are attacking who that person is. You're attacking who that guy is and it is not okay. It's like if I was doing it to a chick and you said, well, not all women are like that. You're gonna get mad at me for getting mad at you for saying not all women are like that? No, because women are allowed to say that? No, it's unfair. If a guy says not all men are like that and a girl says not all women are like that, women won't get in trouble for it. Men will. It's unfair. If you're going to talk about a guy, or guys, or all men, you gotta understand that the guy is going to still feel like you're talking about him in some way, shape, or form. And it could make them feel as if you're attacking who they are as a boy. 
and they're gonna wanna say, not all men, or something along the not all men line. Right? Okay. Get that through your head. Not all men hit women. Not all men talk shit about women. Not all men will be a dick to women. But if a girl says not all women are bitches, not all women will slap you, not all women will cheat on you. They won't get in trouble for saying that, we will get in trouble for saying that. That's not fair, that's not equal, and that is bullshit. I'm sick of hearing everyone say not all men is one of the worst things you can hear, and that guys are bullshit artists for saying not all men. Obviously the person who's listening to your stupid fucking problem Possibly a non-stupid problem, don't get me wrong, but the man listening to your problem is obviously not one of these men. But you're talking about it as if he is. You're not referring to him, you're referring to men. And what is he? A man. So he's going to feel as if you're talking about him in some way, shape or form, even on a very low level or on a very high level. It does not matter. It's still going to be there and you've got to understand that if you're going to talk shit about guy, or guys, or a group of people, or all people like men, you gotta understand the guys are going to wanna to defend themselves. It's only fair to let the guy defend themselves by saying not all men. You gotta pro probably try and say, oh, well why should they have to defend themselves? They're the ones that are doing it. No, he's not the one doing it, the person who's done it to you is the one doing it. If they say, I'm not always like that, get fucking mad at them. But the person who's listening to your problem is obviously not one of those men, and he's allowed to say not all men are like that because he is one of those men who aren't like that. Let him be and let him listen to your problem and then still feel like he's a right guy. Because he's gonna be like, oh, I'm not like that. Why is she saying that about me? What the fuck did I do? I'm so sorry for my whole fucking gender. No, that's unfair to make the guy feel like that and then for not want to defend themselves. That's like a guy saying all that shit about a girl and a girl getting that way, it's so bad that a guy will say that about a girl, but it's not that bad of it because a girl says about a guy. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. <sighs> it's so hot in this room. Now, on to equality slash feminism. If you're going to identify as a feminist, I'm going to identify as a meninist. Get used to it. Meninist aren't the real thing. Fuck off. It is. If you can be a feminist, I can be a meninist. So many women are feminists, but they get the ideals of feminists wrong with misandriness, which is hating men for the sake they are men. Now you see all these extreme feminist videos online. That is the shit we see. That is the shit we see. You can't expect a guy to think feminism is okay when the only shit he sees is that. Now, when it comes to shit revolving around equality, women apparently see guys as up here, right? On this little line right here, actually right where the poster is, to be honest. This line fucking right here, they see Guys up here and women are down here, right? Guys have privileges that are gender stereotyped as well as women who have privileges that are gender stereotyped. The thing is, so many feminists want to be on this line, right? But because they want to have this line with the same privileges that all men have, except for obviously the gender specific ones, they want to be on this line with the men. But they're not willing to get rid of their own stere gender stereotyped privileges so that automatically makes them go up to there. They're not, then that's not equal. That's obviously not equal. Equality is getting either getting rid of your own gender stereotyped privileges or giving the other one, giving the other the same privileges. So the right to vote, that was always a privilege given to men and not to women, right? Women got that privilege, which is perfectly fine. Now, how many privileges can you think that a girl has and always has had that a guy got as well. There is not many privileges that a girl specifically has that a guy got to get as well to keep things purely equal. As soon as you see it as 100% is full, everyone is completely equal. Let's say each gender has 10% of gender specific privileges. That is non-negotiable. So we've gone down to 90% of full privileges, right? 90% is the max amount of privileges each gender will have, which is 100% equal. So many people see men as having 70% of these privileges, right? Most of them not being gender stereotype privileges, just privileges in general. People see women as having like 30 or 35% of these privileges, of like their own privileges. Some of them gender stereotypes, not all of them are gender stereotypes. Some of them are just privileges, yeah? If, yours, if you want to be equal, you can't have exactly what they have because that will make you go up further because it's unequal. 
You have the certain privileges that a girl just has in general, that a guy will never have, purely because it's stereotyped to women. So that's not going to be equal. If you're going to be a feminist and you want equality for everyone, equality is either you both come to the same spot and you either get rid of excess privileges, or you give each other the excess privileges. There's no middle ground there. Equality is 100% equal, 50-50, each side, equal. Equal. If both people don't have exactly the same privileges or the same amount of privileges, it is not equal. Now, a good fucking example. <sighs> okay, so there's someone saying, I hate being cat whistled and like, I hate being cat whistled or how people are like, hey, yeah, come here, come here, come here. You know that shit where it's like a cat call and a whistle some shit like that you know that sort of thing that a girl is saying they don't like it when that happens to them but because the stereotype of that happening is from the male side it's automatically assumed that you're talking about a man so don't get upset when someone says not all men are like that don't get upset when someone's defending the men's side of it when you're saying I haven't even said it's a man or not bullshit you're not saying it's a man because you're not not saying it's a man you're saying it in a neutral way, so you don't mention any genders, yes. But the stereotype is that men do that, because women are the ones that have made it that way. Yes, men do it. Men tend to do it a fair bit, but women do it too. That is a simple fact. And the fact is that men are always seen as doing it and women not doing it. That is a that is a like a backwards privilege. You know what I mean? Get, get what I'm trying to say here? Because men are always seen as that, it would be only equal if men and women are both seen as doing that. Right? One fucking example. It's only recently gotten into people's heads that not all men cheat. It's not only men that cheat. Women cheat too. It's only been recently been into people's heads that women do that. And it is not okay at all. It is not okay to cheat whatsoever. But it's even worse the fact that up until 10-ish years ago, People didn't accept the fact that women cheat on men too. That it's always men that cheat. It's always the man's fault in those situations. It's always a guy that cheats on the girl. Fucking wrong. The stereotype is the guy cheats on the girl. Bull crap. Girl cheats, girls cheat on guys all the fucking time. It's happened to me eight out of my 10 fucking times that I've dated someone. So don't try and bullshit to me saying, women don't cheat at all. Fuck off. Women don't cheat that much. Fuck off. Women just don't cheat ever. Fuck off. Women barely ever cheat. Fuck off. Now, in saying this, right? It's become that way because women say that the man's cheated. If a woman has cheated on a man, they will tell their mates, they will tell their friends, guys, girls, they'll tell their friends. But they're not gonna make it some huge public motherfucker half the time, not all the time, half the time. They're not gonna make some huge public motherfucker to name and shame the guy that's cheated on them. They're not going to make it obvious that they've been cheated on because it makes them look even worse that they're naming and shaming a chick for doing it. Because that half the time people are like, yeah, she must have had a good reason. You fucking treated her wrong. She had a good reason to leave and cheat. No, it's not a good reason to cheat. There's never going to be a reason to cheat. You don't cheat. You saying that they had a good reason to cheat or they had a reason. They had a reason is like saying not all men. It's exactly the fucking same. You're defending your gender with something that is said so often. No, they had a reason or not all men. Same fucking thing but for different genders. It's not okay for a guy to hit a woman. It's never been okay for a guy to hit a woman. Right? But it's okay for a girl to hit a guy. You say no it's not bull fucking shit. If you see a girl hitting a guy on the street, you're gonna think, oh, he's done something to fucking deserve it. If you see a guy hitting a girl on the street, you're gonna be like, oh, fuck this kid, I'm gonna fuck him up, I'm gonna stop that bullshit. It's the difference. It's the difference. It's the fact that you're gonna think he's deserving it, and she didn't. She, the guy could literally be sitting on the bench, being a friend with someone that she hates. And she's gonna be like, oh, fuck this kid, he's friends with the person I fucking hate, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. For no other reason than that. She's gonna hit him, and it's everyone watching, unless the video's been taken from the start to the finish, people are gonna think, oh, he did something to deserve it. He was antagonizing it. 
he did this, he did that, he did this. She had a reason. Bull fucking shit. There is no reason. If a girl can hit a guy, then a guy can hit a girl. If a guy can't hit a girl, then a girl can't hit a guy. That is equality. That is equal standards, and that is equal privileges. It's either you get rid of your own privilege, or you give that same privilege to, to the other gender. It's as simple as that. You see a court case. There's two people that have gone into court. The chick has a black eye. The guy is standing there, like me right now. He's just standing there, looking like himself. He may be a bit annoyed, he may be a bit worried, he may be a bit nervous, but he's just standing there. He's got no physical damage to himself. The girl's in there with a black eye, straight in the court. Court, who's gonna win that? The chick, because she has a black eye. It's as simple as that. The chick is going to win. Even if the guy did it in defense, it's still, you should never hit a girl. But yet it's okay if it's, it, they, the law says it's okay if it's in defense. But if a, if a girl has a black eye from the guy hitting the girl, even if it was aggravated by the chick, the chick attacked the guy first, he's still gonna get in more trouble than the girl because of the fact that she is a girl and has been hit by a man. Think of a situation where it's okay for a girl to hit a guy. Think of it right now, I'll wait for you. I'll fucking wait for you. Think of a reason for a girl to hit a guy, right? Got one? Cool. Now, think about your reason out loud. Say it out loud, okay? Write it down, whatever. You can even write it in the comments. Go write a fucking head. I could not give a shit. Think about this reason of why it is okay for a girl to hit a guy, right? Don't just think of one even, think of multiple. Now, reverse that and put the guy in the girl's position of that exact same situation. Everything that's happened to the girl in, the, in, in this previously made situation has happened to the guy and the guy hits the girl. Is that okay for the guy to hit a girl in that exact same situation? No, it's never okay because men can't hit women, but women can hit men as much as they fucking want and not get in trouble. That is the shit that pisses me off the most. Girls will get away with abusing men, but yet even pushing a girl from attacking you, even pushing, if I was getting punched or someone's trying to punch me and it's a chick and I just go to freaking stop them by pushing them back or stopping their punch or punching them back, I'm gonna be the one in trouble because I'm hitting a chick. They're not gonna be in trouble because they're hitting a guy. It's bullshit. Not all men is exactly like she had a reason. Half the reasons why stereotyped privileges or anti-privileges, I'm going to call them, anti-privileges happen is because of the fact that you only hear about it from the other gender. One of the main reasons why all men cheat on women or men cheat on women is because the only reason why that happened was because women always said it about men. That's what happened. Men, be, men wouldn't say it anywhere near as much as women. That is a, like simple. Men don't say it as much as women. So all you hear is, oh, he's cheated on me. Oh, he did this. Oh, he's cheated on me. Or whatever. All those different things. All you've heard is that. You've not heard the guy's part of it. Fuck, I'm getting sweaty at balls. All you hear is the one side of it. And that's how this, this anti-privileges happen. Right? That's how the anti-privileges take place is because one side has has it happened to them more often so they are the ones that talk about it more okay now this is going to be a very delicate topic in a second okay it's rape rape is never okay done to a girl it's never okay but people don't understand that guys get raped too guys can be raped just because they have a dick and the girl has no dick or another guy rapes another guy just because the guy has the dick they can't get raped. No, men get raped all the time. A lot of the time by women, and a lot of the time, even at younger ages, half the time, because they're so, they can't defend themselves as much, so it's just easier for it to happen. Men get raped too, but no one hears about it because if the guy says anything about it, he's just not manly enough. He's deemed as, oh, he let it happen. Oh, he deserved it. Or they had a reason. Or some bullshit like that. If a guy is getting abused in a relationship, right? If he says anything, if he, if he was to make a status saying, I'm sick of being in an abusive relationship with this person, I'm going to be ending it, right? I don't know why he put up that exact thing on Facebook or Twitter or something, but if they say that exact post, guarantee you, guarantee you, someone in that comment section is going to say, she has a reason to do it. 
or you deserved it. That is 100% guarantee from me. If you are being abused in a relationship and you're a guy and you complain about it, if, you've, if a guy has been used for sex, if a guy has been hit, if a guy has been abused, used, and hurt, and all this other bullshit, if a guy complains about it, they're deemed as less manly, they can't handle themselves, they're a wimp, they're not worth people's time, they suck. If a girl has any of those exact same things, they will get fucking congratulated for speaking up about it, and they'll name and shame the guy, and everyone will fuck with the guy, but if the guy does, no one's gonna fuck with the girl. Another fucking great example of bullshit that girls get away with that guys don't get away with. Say, a guy and a girl, right? Now, the guy and the girl, same height, same weight, they're perfect for each other. Perfect for each other, right? They don't know it yet, but they're perfect for each other. Now, if a guy rejects the girl, he is the asshole. He is a bad guy for not giving you a chance. He is a he is a, just a douche. All those all those words you can come up with for a guy rejecting a girl. He's so bad. He's so mean. He's so stupid. He's so ugly. He's so not worth the time. Blah, 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 blah. But yet, if the girl rejects the guy, it's oh, it's empowering. You go, girl. You do you. You don't like it. You do you. He's a creep. He's an idiot. He's a blah. no. It's not okay. If, you, if a guy can reject, if a guy can't reject a girl, then a girl can't reject a guy. If a girl can reject a guy, a guy can reject a girl. It's fucking equal. It's equality. It's purely fucking equal. Don't say you want equality if you're not willing to give up some of your privileges or to get some of their privileges. If you want to get their privileges, you've got to give your own. Otherwise, it will never be equal. It is bullshit. And to say not all men is like saying she had a reason or they had a reason. It is bullshit. If you're going to generalize about men, expect for them to want to defend themselves. No matter who that, that could be your best friend. They always listen to your problems. But if you're going to attack men in general, if you're going to talk about men as if you're generalizing them, even if you're not generalizing them, unless you say that it's about someone specific and not all men, expect them to fucking try and defend themselves. Expect them to try and defend all men by saying, not all men. Because it's a fact that it's just going to happen if you're going to do that about, to a guy. Like if a guy starts talking shit about women in general, there's 100% guarantee someone is going to be like, uh, they had a reason. Oh, she has a reason. Not all women do that. Blah, blah, fucking blah. You want fucking equality? Give up your privileges so they give up theirs. You want equality? Give your privileges to them and they'll give yours to you. You can't expect to get everything they have and not give some of the shit, all of the shit you have and not get all the shit that they have. It's either you get all or you get none. It's as simple as that. There is no, oh, you can pick and choose which privileges you want. It's as simple as fucking that. Until everyone can see that guys and girls are equal, it's never going to be equal. As if a girl can, can hit a guy and not get in trouble for it, but a guy can hit a girl and get jail time for it, it will never be equal. It is never going to be equal. And that is as simple as that. There will never be equality. When people can't see that exact same fact, it's a violent fact, it's a bad fact to be hitting people in general. But if a girl can hit a guy, and a guy can't hit a girl, it is not going to be fucking equal ever in anyone's lifetime, ever. If a girl makes fun of a dude, or a girl rejects a guy, or a girl slaps a guy for, like, hitting on him, she's, oh, you're empowered, uh, oh, it's okay, he deserved it. Oh, if a guy does anything like that, it is nowhere near the fucking same. It's bullshit. There will never be equality. Extreme feminism is the problem with everything right now. That's why I'm so glad that Hillary Clinton did not get fucking presidency. I'm, I hate that Trump got presidency, don't get me fucking wrong. He's just as goddamn bad. But if Hillary Clinton was the president, feminism would go to the point where extremists in, t in feminism would be just as much damaging to society as most fucking problems. I'm okay with feminists that I want actual equality for everyone. They're not just equality for me between men and women to keep their own privileges, but equality so that everyone shares the privileges. So that they're no longer privileges. If Hillary Clinton had got presidency, that would have just gone able. 
I would not want to have lived in a world where that happened. I would want Trump to get fucking out of presidency and someone, I would rather Obama stay in, to be honest, I would rather Obama. I'd rather freaking Julia Gillard that we have here to be the fucking president. She's not gonna be all fucking feminism, but it's a simple fact that, oh, so fucking hot. You, you keep trying to think of a reason why it's okay for a girl to hit a guy and then put the guy in the girl's position and if it's okay for them to do it then fine. Self-defense, if a guy's getting hit by a girl they're allowed to sock him one in the face. But if, if, if it's recorded and that, that clip of the guy hitting the girl, even if the girl's like wailing into him and he even lays one finger on her, everyone will jump down the guy's throat for being abusive, or that he's hitting a woman and he should be sent to jail, all this bullshit. No one's gonna comment on the fact that the girl's wailing into the guy. It is unfair, unreal to think that there's gonna be equality when that shit can happen on a daily basis. That is the video, because I'm too angry to keep making more sense, and it's all just gonna start rambling together and just be one huge fucking thing. If you don't want guys to say, not all men, don't fucking say she has a reason. You want equality, you can't get all their privileges and not give any back. You can't pick and choose your privileges that you get to keep and give. No, you can't fucking do that. You either give them all or you get none. It's as simple as that. That is the video. There will never be equality. If you hate this video, dislike it. I couldn't give a shit. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you have anything to say to me that isn't just your fucking sexist piece of shit, then leave that comment down below. Get in touch with my social medias. Get in contact with me. Happy to talk to you. Add my Snapchat. I upload daily consistently during a day actually subscribe down below for more videos coming thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next fucking video and she just outright says it's really cold on a golf course i was like why do you, why Don't why do you say that i knew it was billy and i fucking knew it was billy bullshit her name was fucking megan we've been talking for about a week and a half it's going off really good and it fuck